Hi guys, this is Megan from Mythical Crafts and today I'm going to be doing a hippogriff. Yay! Um, the hippogriff is like from Harry Potter, very similar to a griffin, only the colouring is a bit different. And it's pretty much an eagle crossed with a horse, crossed with something else. I think it's just an eagle crossed with a horse, but I'm probably wrong. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, and it's from Harry Potter, um, and mainly featured in The Prisoner of Azkaban. Duh. Um, <laughs> and he's a very hard project to do, I will tell you that now, because he is double loom, and it's a hippogriff, it's going to be very detailed. Um, I do not have a total band count yet, but I will put one in the, the description below. Um, but it will be, for this portion of the tutorial, you'll need about 1,280 white, approximately, 1,280 grey, 25 burgundy, 4 cocoa, and 50 black. And also some um, random coloured bands to hold on to the project for you. Um, I have used techniques from Courtney Nicole's designs. What's going on with my camera? Oh, there we go. All focused. Um, from Courtney Nicole. So I will just shout out to her saying she's pretty cool and you should go check out her channel. Again, down below in the description. Go check it out. Um, please rate, comment and click subscribe because I'm working on getting a lot of subscribers. Please. Um, and also I have just gotten a camera, hello, um, so that you won't hear that whirring in the background with my laptop anymore, super duper exciting. And I also have a big tripod, um, that's me, clicking on it, whatever, not clicking on it, but you know, um, which is pretty cool. I also, um, and I've got a lamp up here to help with the lighting. Oh, that's nice. The sun's just coming in now. It's got a really nice white colour, my sheet. Stay there, sun. Um, yeah, so for this part of the video, we'll be making the body parts of the habograph. So to start the head, let's just zoom in. Oh my god, my camera's so cool. Can zoom in. <laughs> so we've got a head here. Woo! Big fluffy bit at the back because in the um, he does have a fluffy bit on his head like that. Wait, I'll just zoom out a bit. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. And he's got a beak, and then the wing, which I think is absolutely beautiful. Here we go. Isn't that stunning? I think it looks really nice. So you've got all the feathers, and also on this side, I gradiented from white. To grey. Isn't that cool? <laughs> and I also have the legs. So the first one. Oh, oh I get to zoom it in. Ah. Um, that's just the back leg. And since the back leg has a hoof, that's what that is. Um, and the front leg has that. Oh, what do you call them? Claws. Oh no, the sun went away so now it's not as nice. Okay then. Sweet. So now, let's get started. Um, for the first bit, I am going to do the head. Yep, yeah, I'm going to do the head for the first part. Okay then. So, we'll need a jaw, top of the head, and um, main part of the head. Like in this. Jaw, top, main. You'll also need a bunch of feathers. So... I'll show you how to make the feathers first. So, this one has three types of feathers for it. Um, it has big feathers, medium feathers, small feathers. This project has a lot of feathers in it, pretty much. Um, so you're just going to get a single, double loop it, going down once, single, double loop it, going down twice, Single double loop it going down three times. Oh wait, I think I could zoom in. 
<laughs> it's so much fun being able to zoom in now. Um, double loop it another time and cap it off. Wrapping it around three times. Okay, so that's four double loop grey bands. Um, yeah. So, next we're going to get some white bands. And you're just going to lay them. So, where the capping band is and then each one up from there. Like that. So you see where I've laid it at the capping band and each one up from there. Not the last one. Um, then you're going to loom it. Whoops. Make sure these don't fall off. Okay then. Then get a holding hook and pull it off. Okay. You will need of that one that I just made to make five. You can't see all my fingers, damn it. Five of those. Um, the next one that you're going to make is a medium one, so double looped once, twice, three times, and tie it off by wrapping it around three times. <laughs> then you're going to get two white and lay them on the capping band the next one with two and the next one with two okay then okay and you're going to make five you can't see there we go five of this one so that's three and then cap it off um, I recommend you put it all on a holding hook. I have one with a lot of stuff on it at the moment. Um, all these fluffy things are the feathers you're going to make for the head. Um, it looks like a lot, but it's only 15. So um, You can put it on a hook, or you can chuck them down the bottom of your loom and just put them on a peg. Each peg can hold about three or four. So Okay, now we're going to make the small one. Oh yes, I forgot to say, the entire time, the arrows on the loom, let's see there's a red one in there, should be pointing towards you. Um, that's just a vital part of information, but I always do it with the arrows pointing towards me, so. Capping it off. One, two, three. Okay, then you're going to get the white bands again. Two white bands. Two white bands, just laying them. So that's two double looped capped off. And then you're going to loom that, take it off. You need five of those. Five. <laughs> and you're just going to put that on a hook or down the bottom of your loom. So you should have made five big ones, five medium ones, and five small ones. Okay, now we're going to do... The top of the head. I'm just going to zoom out. Oops, too much. Oh, it's so cool. I can zoom in and out. <laughs> um, yeah, top of the head now. We're just going to make the eyes quickly. So, for the eye colour, I chose to do cocoa. I don't know. Let's see if you can see it. It looks more like caramel on the camera light, but it's cocoa. Trust me. Um, which is like a dark brown. So, you're going to wrap it around three times. Wait, oh, I can zoom in. I wonder how much it'll let me zoom in before it's just like, nah, not working. Okay, so Coco wrapped around, so there's four loops. Then you're going to get a black one. Wrap it around four times. So you've got four loops. I mean, wrap it around three times, so you've got four loops. And then this one, two, three. Wrap around three times so you've got four loops, and that's your eye. Now you're gonna get, I think I use, yeah, two white, and you're gonna pull those over. So you're gonna get your first and second finger and pinch it, and you're just gonna go pull over, pull over. 
below. Also, I tried to do this dotty thing on my nail, but I'm not sure it looks very nice, but meh. And this one, you can put in between, just put it in between two pegs to hold on to it, like that, at the bottom. Um, and then we're going to do it again, I'm just going to do it a bit faster, so if you missed it before, circling around once, twice, three times, pushing to the back, getting a black one, once, twice, three times, whoops, um, pushing it back, and then once more, once, twice, oh, twice, three times. So you should have four loops in each colour around your hook. Then you get white, pull it over, pull it over, pull it over. Now I'm just going to put this at the bottom in between these two. That's where I'm just holding it for the moment. Um, okay then, now we're going to do the top of the head. Oh, I can zoom out. Ah, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah. um, sorry, it's really nice having a new camera. Um, now we're going to get a gray and a white. I don't know if you can see it, gray and white. And you're going to go this one. We don't need the sixth peg at the moment. We won't need it. Oh, whoops. I'll just transfer this. Don't mind me, I'm just fixing something. We don't need the sixth peg. We only need five for this bit. Okay, so grey and white. Um, I like it to gradient the head. Actually, it just depends. You have, because the head's supposed to be mainly white, but you also want a bit of grey in it. So, okay. This edge one is going to be two whites. Next one along, grey and white. Next one along, um, two whites. Next one along, grey and white. Next one along, two whites. Okay, white, grey and white, white, grey and white, white. Um, like a pattern. And then you're gonna go. Oh wait, no, I did it wrong. All of these first five can be white. 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 So these first five are white. Now then, the, the second one on the second row, grey and white. Second one on the middle row, grey and white. And second one on fourth row, grey and white. Um, and then you're just going to get from, and then you're going to get two whites, double bands. This is all in double bands. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> um, so you're going to go from this peg to this peg, if you see what's going on here. So that's from the second peg of this outside row to the second, third peg on the next one. So two whites again. Second to third. Sweet. Um, now we're going to go down in the middle with grey and white. Oh nope. Double white. Double white. Sorry, I'm trying to match the colouring for what I did on the forehead here. So it looks nice. So I'm just matching that up. I won't be this like this for the entire video. Um, and we'll go white, white, and then the last grain white down the middle, and then we'll go white down the middle again, then, oh wait, these ones here, take off these two white in there. Um, we're going to attach our eyes. So you get your eye. 
and you attach it from the third to fourth peg on the second and fourth row. Okay then. Like that. And now you're just going to get a single double looped Y. Mm. Nope. Not a single double looped. Sorry. Keep on changing my mind. Um, a single Y from the fourth peg on the second row to the sixth peg on this row. And double white again. There. Okay, now you're going to get one of these and wrap it around three times to cap it off. Okay, now we're going to get um, horizontal bands, single double looped, triangle there. Um, white, it's all white, and then double bands, two white bands make a triangle, two white bands make a triangle, and then just a single double looped white. From here to here, a single double looped white from here to here. Okay, um, now we can loom it, and while we're looming it we're going to attach the large feathers. Okay, so going down into this capping band, and you're just going to grab the top two, the next two, and the last two. Just be gentle with those. And then just to release it all. Okay, now we're going to loom up the middle. And you're going to stop one before the end. Then you're going to loom up this side. And you're going to go down past the horizontal band and that I band. Loom there, stop there. And you're going to go here and stop there. Now you're going to do it on the other side. Okay, then. so you should all you should have stopped on these pegs right before the end. Now you're just going to get some long feathers and you're going to attach them on those pegs where you stopped, whether it's from the wherever you've been holding them. Just also, I recommend you do put it on a holding hook or at the on your loom, just so that it doesn't. Um, what am I trying to say? It doesn't unravel itself. There we go. So just pull those back so you can see what you have to loom and then you just loom it. Going past those horizontal bands, make sure you do. Yeah, make sure not to catch the horizontal bands or the um, feather bands. Okay, now I'm just going to get some black. To tie it off. It can be any colour, but I recommend black because you can see it. Okay then, now we can pull this off. Okay then. Oh no, I missed one. Whoops. Okay then I'll just have to work with that. Whoopsies. I missed looming one. <laughs> How did that happen? Oh anyway.
Mm, I'll just try and fix this for the moment, but I won't be able to use this head. Okay then. Whoopsies. Okay then. I just missed looming one. Whoops. Which is really annoying. That's okay. I'll fix it up later. Okay then. Um, <laughs> whoopsies. Meh. Anyway, I've got another head. Um, so now I'm going to make the jaw. Quickly, I'm just going to do a tongue. So, single double looped pink. Single double looped pink. Also, this is just what the tongue looks like in the mouth. It's kind of cute. Rawr. If you want to have a tongue. But if you don't, then the mouth will just have no tongue and kind of look like that. Yeah. So, tongue. No tongue. Okay. And wrapping it one, two, three times. Now you're just going to go down and loom it quickly. And then pull it off. So that's two double looped single bands capped off. I'm just going to chuck that down the end of my loom. Okay, let's zoom out a bit. Um, so now for the jaw. We're going to get a grey and white. Okay, then grey and white band here, double white band on the next row, grey and white in the middle, double white in the next row, and then grey and white on the edge. Okay, then. next you're going to alternate it, so double white on this end, grey and white here, double white in the middle, Gray and white here, and then double white on the edge. Then, whoops, um, these ones are supposed to go in. So these outside double whites, just put them like that. So that's a long stretch again. Second peg on the outside to third peg on the next middle rows. Um, next I'm going to go down two white here, a grey and white here, and two white here, and then I'm going to go down the middle with two white, and another two white, one, two, three, yeah, and then I'm going to get a single double looped of white, and make that stretch between the fourth peg to the sixth peg in the middle. And then I'm going to go down here like that. And I'm going to get single, again double looped white, go down there and cap it off. One, two, three. Okay, now we're going to do the horizontal bands, single double looped, triangle, single double looped, triangle, single double looped, upside down triangle, and another single double looped triangle. Now you're just going to loom it, so going down, grabbing the top two, be careful when you're looming these long stretched bands. Okay, then you're going to loom up the middle. Um, let's see where I attach the tongue. Okay, then. Did attach it here. Yeah, um, so you're going to get your tongue, attach it onto this, and then you're just going to go down past those horizontal bands and loom that. Now we can just loom the rest of it. You're going to loom 
this side. Okay then, now you're going to get some holding bands. I'm going to use black again. It can be any colour, doesn't matter. Um, the reason why I use black is because it usually contrasts to the colour I'm using. Okay. Okay then, so now just pulling this off the loom. Um, okay, and there's your jaw. Cute. Okay, now we're going to do the main head piece part of the body. Um, just going to have a quick drink of water. <laughs> Sorry, I've just been just having a quick break. You catch up. Sorry. I keep on doing that. I did that in one of my last videos. I just went completely silent for a moment. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just having a quick break. <sighs> okay then. I know what to do now. So, we're gonna go down. <sighs> I'm kind of tired. Um, along the sides. Oh, let's see if I can zoom out. Yep. Sweet. Now you'll be able to see most of what I'm doing. <laughs> so, single double looped white. There. I don't think you can even see that that well. Oh well, I'll just describe what I'm doing. Single double looped wipe. And you just keep on doing single double looped six times. Three, four, five, and six. Then you're going to go on the other side, single double looped wipe. Again, six times down. So you've done six double loops down the side, single double loops. Um, and then I'm going to go. Wait. Okay then. Um, now we're going to get. Let's go down the middle rows now. So. White. Double white there, then grey and white on that second, grey and white on the fourth. Okay, I'll zoom in so you can see what colours I'm using. Ah, okay, next row. There we go. Oh my gosh, it's so focused. Oh, sorry, this this is really exciting for me. I think you can tell. <laughs> um. Okay then, so now we're going to go grand white down the middle, double white here, double white here. You don't have to do the exact same colours that I do, just saying. It just, I don't know, it's just a kind of pattern. Then, grand white, double white, grand white. It just alternates, so alternates from grand white to white to double grand white. Yeah, so it just alternates as you go along. White. 
Graham Watt. Watt. Graham Watt. Watt. Graham Watt. And then one more time. Watt. Graham Watt. And Watt. Okay, so that's pretty much all the knit done. Let's zoom out. Oh my gosh. Okay then. Um, oh yeah, this is just the table over here. This bit here, that's just the table. <laughs> Sweet. Um, so we've done that. So now we need to do... Okay, then we're going down again. So now we're going to do again the alternating. So, um, just on the outsides, just on these outside bits, white, then back to alternating, down the middle, and then the outside must be white. Okay then. Um, now we can alternate it a bit. But before we do that, we need to attach our jaw. I forgot to do this once in the video. Silly me. Um, so you're getting your jaw and you're going through those bands. Oh, I can zoom my down so you can see. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you're going to go through these bands. They've been tied off, so I'm going to start on this side, going through this set of bands. Um, and you're just going to go here, then going through the next set of bands. Oh, there's some people outside and they're talking. Um, and you're going to do that. Then you're going to go through the middle set. Middle set of bands. Oh, they're annoying talking. Um, and do that. Then you get the next set and put it here. And you get the next set and put it here. Okay, wait. Meh. Okay then. Now what you want to do, you've attached that. I just want to push it down somewhere. Push it down as far as you can. Okay then. Um, and also I'm just going to take off these holding bands because they're going to be annoying to take off later. And this is also a way of checking that you've got it all on the loom. You can use your fingers or your hook. That's just I prefer to use my hook. Well, I'm really excited. I'm going to go see Insurgent on Monday. Apparently it's very good. Oh yeah, and yesterday I just had a bunch of tests and I finished them all, which is pretty cool that I finished all my tests. Sweet. Don't mind me playing with the focus, it's actually just kind of fun. <laughs> um, you can return those bands that you pulled off to the pack again. Um, now we're going to continue down and the gradient is going to change slightly now because we want it to be majority white. Um, so what have I done here? I think we'll do one more alternating row where it alternates and changes. So let's do that. So this one was last double white so now it's going to be gray and white and then white Gray and white. Oh, there's a tongue poking up. White. 
Gosh, I swear I tell everyone in the household that I'm filming and then they decide to do the vacuuming. Ugh. Anyway, I hope you guys don't mind. <laughs> um, and then the rest of it, uh, I think I'm going to do white. So, double white there. Just going down the middle three rows for the moment. Double white here. Um, and then I'm just going to do double white here. Double white here. Oh, my sister's singing now. Gosh. People have no consideration. Double white. We're just continuing down in double white. Um, just follow me. Uh, here. And then you're going to go single double looped here. Single double looped here. And now we're going to use our trusty hook to make a beak. So I'm going to use grey. Getting a grey band wrapping around three times. Oh, oh, I can focus that in. Oh, that's a bit too much. There we go. Got it. <laughs> Wait, let's see if I can get a little bit more in. Yes. So getting that. And then you're going to get a single double looped grey. Just put that there. Oh. There we go. Single double looped grey. Now you're going to pinch it again. Pinch, pinch, pinch. And pull it over. Then you're just going to pull that one like that. Now we're going to get three bands. I think this is how I did the beak. Yeah, three bands. Pull it over. Now you're going to get four bands. Oh my gosh. Um, four. And you're going to get them and pull it over. This just makes the beak a little bit thicker. Here we go. So you should have a beak. I think that's how I did it here. Um, yes. Okay then, then you're just going to attach that. Here. Okay. Now I can zoom out. So exciting. <laughs> I'm just a little bit obsessed. Um, now you're going to get single double looped white and we're going to do the horizontal bands. Triangle. Double white. Single double looped white. Single double looped white. Um, then you're just going to do double white. Here. Double white. Here. Double white. Again, this is upside down triangles. Double bands. Ooh. Um... Now, yep, double white once more. Oh, no. Now we're going to go into single double looped. Single double looped white. Single double looped white. Single double looped white. Single double looped white. Um, single double looped white. Single double looped white. Nearly there. Single double looped white. Single double looped white again. And once more. Single double looped white. And again. Okay then. So it should all look like this so far. It's freaking looking pretty basic. But this is the head area. And then um, so we're going to start at the bottom, and as we're looming it, it is going, we're going to be attaching stuff on. So top of the head, feathers, etc, etc. Um, okay, so now you're going to go down. Grabbing the top two. 
to and just be careful this is a big stretch again remember next two whoops and the bottom two okay then now I'm just gonna go here and loom here you're gonna stop there um here, yep, I'm pretty sure that's what I did. Yep, and I'm gonna loom up there and pass the jaw. So going down, I think I just need to lean over so I can see. Ugh, this is frustrating. Okay, wait. Anyway. annoying to do yeah make sure you only get that white and gray bands Ooh, so hard okay then don't worry if this takes you a while to do um ugh, I don't want to get my head in the way but I can I hope you, I hope my head doesn't block this I just need to look directly above the loom to see what I am doing one. Ugh. This is so annoying. Got it. Yes. Yes. Okay, then. So you loom one past that jaw and you stop there. So you should stop here and here. And you're going to do it on this side again. You're going to loom out that long length. Leave it. And you're going to loom up. Past the jaw. It is actually quite tough. You should take your time and be patient to get this bit right. Okay then. I really hope my head wasn't in the way there. Because I felt as if it was. Um, okay, now we can loom. Let's grab our head. What's happened here? It's broken. It's broken. <laughs> That's okay, I have a backup head. Um, don't mind that. If that's happened, if you've broken it like that, if it like, well, let's zoom it in. Quick lesson on what, what happens if you break stuff. So if you look in here, see they've been disconnected like that. If you've done something like that, you can either just kind of wing it and try and fix it. Or if you're a perfectionist, the, kind of like me, um, you've got to go and redo it again, otherwise it just won't look nice. Thankfully I have this head, so I don't have to go redo it, otherwise that would be annoying for you guys. Um, so that happened. Mm, sad face. Um, I'm just going to try something so that it doesn't get in the way. Don't mind me, I'm just fixing something. I'll let you catch up to where we're supposed to be here. So these are the spots where you should have loomed up to. Here and here, which is one past the jaw. So now, you're going to get the top of your head. So you've got the side where the eyes are. Okay, so you've got the side where the eyes are popping up. And you've got the sides where the eyes aren't. Um, don't mind that. But, yep, so you've got the side where the, where the feathers pop up and the side where the eyes pop up. What you want to do for this bit is you want to have the capping band facing um, this one here. So like that, cat band against it, and you want the side with the eyes popping up on it, and the feathers going down, down, um, that way. You don't want it this way with the feathers going up, otherwise you'll get it wrong, and 
yeah, you'll pretty much have to restart. Um, you maybe get away with it, but no. You've got to have the eyes popping up and the feathers going down. That's essential. Um, I hope you got that. So you go through that capping band and you attach onto the second peg from the bottom where we have loomed to. And then you loom that. Okay. Now we can loom up. And you're going to loom all the way. You're going to go down past that jaw band. Okay, so now you're going to get this bit down here. You're going to pull it over. It should look like this where the eyes aren't. Don't worry about this side. That's just, that was just me trying to fix it up so it stays together for the tutorial. Okay, so you've got the bit where the eyes are. Oh, wait. Matt, turn that down. So as my sister's playing a game and it's really loud. Um, so you've got this set of bands where the eyes are and then you've got the next set of bands which I'm just going to pull out to help out. Oh, that music. Do you reckon I shout out to her? Turn it down. Turn it down. I had to tell her. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so this bit, this next set of bands, after the eye set of bands, you're just going to get the outside two of the bottom and you're going to reach it and attach it to this peg where we loomed up to. Like that. And you're going to loom up too. So one, and then you're going to go to where the jaw is and loom it up again. Now you're going to do the same on the other side. This is just a bit harder to see. Um, whoops. What did I do here? Oh, anyway. Okay. So you get the set of bands where the eye is, and then you grab the outside two of the next set. I don't know if you can see that very well, and I don't think that I can focus on it anymore without it just kaputting. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so you've got the eye band, you've got the next set of bands, and you're just going to pull that over and attach it to this peg here. There we go. And you're going to loom up that one, and then loom past the jaw. Stop there. Okay. So your head should be looking like this so far. Not on this side. Just kind of ignore this side. Imagine that the bands are like that on it. Um, so now we are going to attach this. So this is just like how we attached it before. See where we're supposed to attach the pegs? Where we've loomed up until. Pretty sure I did the right amount. Um, yeah, okay, sweet, I did the right amount for you guys. Um, so now, I'm going to go here, see that set of bands that's been tied off? You need to go through it, and you're going to attach it onto this edge one. That is because we're matching it up. So there's five sets of tied off bands here. The middle one obviously is going to go up to the middle. The edge ones are going to go to the edge. And these, the row two and four ones are going to go in row two and four, you know? So you match them up. Um, so I just did the edge one, matched it up. And then loom it. Make sure, oops, I matched it up to the wrong peg though. Make sure you don't do that. Match it up to the peg where you have loomed until, which is what I need to do. Okay, match it up to the peg where you've loomed until, and loom it once. Okay then. Now we're going to get the next set of bands down here. This is the next set that I haven't tied off. You're going to take it to where it needs to go. Okay then, to there, and then you're going to loom it once. 
you're going to get the middle set of bands, go through that, and you're going to attach it to where you loomed until. Whoops. And try and make sure you don't loom the um, black bands, otherwise you won't be able to take them off without cutting them. Then you get the next set. And then you loom it. And then the last set, which should be the edge set. Make sure you match up the right ones, guys. Otherwise, you'll get it wrong. Okay, then. And then loom it once. So this is what it should look like so far. You can take off these holding bands right now if you want. Uh, but I'm just going to leave it. So now we get to add all the feathers on. So we're going to add the medium feathers on the next row. Small feathers on the next row. Some stuff, stuff, stuff. Yeah. Let's see how I did it. Small. Yeah, okay. I was just inspecting something. Um, so, now you're going to get your next size feather, the medium ones, which is the three double looped one. And you're just going to put those onto where you've loomed up until. So, there, there, there. there and then get the last one here this is why you need five okay then so now you can just loom those Now you've got another bit, so that was so out of the camera frame. Um, so I just loomed them. Whoops. Um, now you can attach the next size, the small feathers. So they're the two double looped capped off ones. Okay, so attach them where you've loomed up until. Whoops. Now we're going to loom it. Just try and push everything out of your way so you can see what you're doing just to make things easier. Okay then. Everything's getting in the way. So now you should have loomed up until we've got three more to go until the end. So now you're just going to get a grey and a white band. Grey and a white band. And you're just going to put it where you've loomed up until. And loom that. Get another grey and white band. Loom that. And then lastly... I'm just checking something. Hmm. Um, so I'm just thinking about something for a moment. Something's changed. Oh, I know what I did. Wait, no, I did it right. Okay. Um, I don't know what I've done differently. Let's see. 
Just let me think some things through quickly. Um, you catch up. Okay then. I figured out what I did. It's okay. Um, I won't get you guys to go change it. So, now we get a single white one where we've loomed up until. Just wrap it around once and loom it. Okay, then. now I'm just going to tie off that one. Okay this row okay then so now you're gonna get a gray and white lay it here a gray and white lay it here oh my god my sister Ugh. Mac can you please turn that off or down She's playing Sims and she just decides to put the music full blast. <sighs> anyway, do you, you guys play Sims? And I know you can't respond to me right now, but meh. Okay then. Um, going down, I'm going to loom it. That is with putting grey and white. Gray and white again. Then you're gonna get a single white and wrap it around. Okay, and then we're gonna get in a gray and white going along to the next one. There, where you've loomed up until. Gray and white, lay it on. And then a gray and white. Okay, and then you're gonna get just last, lay, oh wait, this last one here. So it's that last one there is supposed to be a double looped white. I was wrong, um, gray and white. Gray and white, and then a single white, wrap it round once, or double loop it, whatever you, it's the same thing, whoops. Okay, now I'm going to tie them off. Okay then, now we can pull it off. Just use your hook to pull those first few off. Okay then. Ugh. Let's zoom out. Oh look at this loom, right? Gosh, this is unacceptable. Um, and that's going to be super fluffy. See all that fluff there? That's kind of what I was going for. Ugh, got it. Okay then. So now you should have a hippogriff head. This is my good one. See look, this one that I just did turned out a bit strange. Yeah, that looks a bit strange, doesn't it? <laughs> there we go, that's the side you want. Um, 
So you want to curve that beak down that you have. I'll get my good hippogriff head that I used. Um, here we go. So you've got this. You've got your head. It should look something like this. Also just saying, it's really easy to pull it, squeeze it, etc. Um, so like that. So the beak should be curved down. You can have a, you have a tongue in there. Fluffy back. Everything should look kind of like that. Let's zoom in. Uh -huh. um, it's so fluffy at the back though. It's crazy. It looks quite cute though. Now we're not done yet. Ugh. We've got to do the... Um, which bit am I doing now? Um, now I get to do the... Let's do the wing. Okay then. So, we need to make for the wing. Oh, let's zoom out. Zoom out. Okay. For the wing, we need... Oh, the way. We're going to make all the feathers. I'm only going to make one of each type. I think there's five main types. There's the little ones here. There's these ones here. There's these ones here. There's also some longer ones in here. And each of these long feathers are different, so I'm going to make them with you. And then we're going to make the main wing part, which you can see here. It's that shape there. Um, and as you see, I've gradiented it from white to grey. So there's no exact way to do this. You've got, got to just kind of have lots of white here and then decrease until you've got lots of grey here. Um, so you can either copy me in doing that. I'm kind of just going to improvise doing that because however you do it, it will work. Um, so let's make the feathers. Oh, I'm tired. I am tired. Let's have some water. Mmm, that's nice. Um, okay, and then let's see, let's do this light here. I just want to see what it looks like if I put this light on. Is that a bit better? You can see the shadows of my lamp though. Oh, that's a bit annoying. Wait, just let me fix that up. see what that looks like. Do we want that? Sorry, I'm just fixing it up while I'm having a break. Nope. Much better. Okay then. Oh, that's much nicer. Okay, sweet. Um, there we go. That's a nice white. My hand's just coming into focus. Also, my nail polish is orange. Just saying. It's a really bright orange, but it looks more like a peach. <laughs> um, okay then, let's do this one. So, let's get started. What do we want to do first? Let's do all the feathers. Okay, feather type 1, little feathers. You're going to get single double looped white. Single double looped white. <laughs> let's focus it in. Don't think you can see it very well, but they're there. Cap it off. This is the white. One, two, three. Then loom it. Okay. So of these, let's see. I need to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You need eleven. So go make eleven two double looped whites capped off. Um, that should take you about 10 minutes. It took me about 10, 5 to 10. Yeah, they'll take about 5 to 10 minutes to make. Then just store them on the bottom of your loom or on a hook. Here we go. See, I've got them all on my hook here. Mm, okay. Now we're going to do feather type 2. We need a lot more of these. This is the bit, the ridge that runs along the middle here. They're all the same except for this end one. Uh, Okay, I'll show you how to make that end one too. 
So, let's make feather type 2. Metal ridge. One. Uh, okay then. So, we're going to get how we get this one. How we make it. A single double looped grey. Single double looped grey. And then you're going to get one white and two greys. So that's three bands. And then you can get two whites and a grey. Like that. And you're going to go down. Then you're going to get a white, cap it off, wrapping it around three times. Yep, I think I got that right. Yep. Okay, then you loom it. Okay, then you're going to pull it off. So that one, recap. Single double looped grey, two greys and a white, two whites and a grey, capped off whites. Um, of those, let's see how many you need. I need to count it actually. You'll need 17. Ha, huh, have fun making that. They'll take about 10 to 20 minutes, depending on how fast you are. Took me about 10. If you're a bit slower, then it'll take about 20. So 10 to 20 minutes to make that type, type 2. So you need about 10 minutes to make type 1, 10 to 20 to make type 2. Um, then feather type 3, it's a bit bigger. It's this one that comes along the bottom here. Just, just this bit from like here to here. Um, that will be, let's see, so you make that ginga white, single double looped, um, then getting a grey, single double looped, then getting whoop, two grey, and a white, two grey and a white, so three bands, doing that, again two grey, and a white. Oops, doing that. And then you're going to cap it off with a grey. Again, you don't have to do the exact same colours I do. You can do whatever colours you want for this and you can gradient them however you want. But if you want to gradient it like my wing, then you do it this way. Okay then, now you take that off. So this is feather type 3, recap, single double looped white, single double looped grey, two grey and a white, two more grey and a white capped off. So that's four in length. Um, that'll take you 10 to 20 minutes again. Um, and then we've got feather type 4, these ones here that are just a bit longer if you see. It's feather type 3 here, feather type 4 here, it's just a bit longer. Um, so, there's, you need to make six of these. Um, let's do them. They're just a bit longer than usual. So getting a single double looped white. A single double looped grey. Then a white and a grey. This is only two bands. Two whites and a grey. Now we're at three bands. Then three greys and a white. Okay then. So three greys and a white. Now you're going to cap it off with a black. One, two, and three. Okay then. So going down. And then you can loom that. Okay then. So that is recap. A white, a sing single double looped white, a single double looped grey, a grey and white, two greys and a white, three greys and a white, and then a black capping band. You need to make six of feather type four. So we've got our feather types here. 
for the type 1, you need 11, I think it was. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yep, 11 of feather type 1. Then, I think it was 17, if I'm trying to remember right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yep, 17 of feather type 2. Um, feather type 3. You'll need 9 of, because you've also got the last feather on the second row. So you'll need 9 of feather type 3, 9 of feather type 3, and then you'll need 6 of feather type 4. Okay then, um, so that should take you about half an hour I'm assuming, if you just speed through it. Um, now let's do the main feathers. So, we have, got some here, okay then, I'm just going to zoom out. Sweet. It's so much fun zooming in and out. Um, so easy too, because then you guys can see close up what I'm doing. <sighs> Just having another quick break. I'm rather tired. Mm. So I think after I've done the wing, I'm just going to stop for the night. I was planning on doing the legs, but I'm probably not going to. Um, so, ugh, so tired. Um, what have I done here? Okay, then. so, we have these feathers at the end, the big ones. There's five, five of them. So I'm going to show you how to make each one. The smallest one. So we're going to get two whites and a grey. So three bands going down here. I'll zoom in a bit more for you guys. Oh, that went out of focus. Yep. Okay. And now you're going to get one white going that way and white, another white going what we're going to do actually while we're making the feathers is we're going to just shift these just shift two rows into rectangular and you're going to go double loop, single double loop white from there to there. Okay. Now I'm going to go down a single double looped white. Single double looped grey. Maybe I'll zoom in a bit more just so you guys can see. And then we're going to go down once again. Single double looped grey and single double looped grey. Oh, I've got a weird fuzz down here. You see, if you look at my finger, it's a bit fuzzy. Fine here. Fuzzy. <laughs> um, then we have to do... Okay, then. Then I got three grey. Three grey. Three grey. don't know why I did three grey. But I did. Then you're going to go a single double looped grey. Up. Then a black. Black. Going in towards that. And then you're going to get a single double looped black. Going down. And you're going to cap it off with black. Then we're going to just do the horizontal bands, which are all going to be grey. So single double looped, single double looped, single double looped, and single double looped. Okay then. Whew. So it should be looking something like that. Now I'm going to go down and loom up. So just grabbing each band as you go along, making sure not to catch the horizontal bands. Okay then. 
You only need one of this type of feather. So you'll be fine. Okay, then I'm just going to put it down at the bottom. Um, so I've got that feather um, coming up again. Now we're going to do the next biggest feather. So going down. Okay. Two grey and a white. I'm just going to get out some more bands. Oh my gosh, I've nearly gone through a whole packet. to do let's see what I've done here a single double looped grey a single double looped grey um, and then a single double looped white a single double looped grey A single double looped grey, a single double looped grey, and then a grey and a white, so two bands, and then a grey and a white, another two bands, and then single double looped grey single double looped grey going inwards then single double looped black going down and then tie it off one two three okay then you're just going to loom that oh uh, no wait we got to do the horizontal band so don't loom the entire way then just get all grey Single double looped. Okay then. Now I can go. Okay then, that's the second biggest feather. Okay. Ugh. Okay then. Um so now We're going to be doing. Um, let me think. We're going to be doing the next type of feather. Sorry, I'm I'm rather tired. Whew, why am I so tired? Um, next feather, which is kind of a bit bigger. So two grey and a white. Two grey and a white. Again. Then we're going to get a single double looped white, single double looped grey. I don't think. You, oh, you saw that? No, you won't have. Single double looped white, single double looped grey. Going outwards, um, then <laughs> alternate it so a single double looped grey and a single double looped white. Um, and then two single double looped greys, single double looped grey, single double looped grey, um, and then two greys, and a grey and a white, 
it in a single double looped black. Going down in a single double looped grey to connect to it. Um, then we're going to do... Oh wait, no. Kidding, I think I... Oh no. Okay. Going down single double looped grey, single double looped white. Okay, wait. I don't know what I've done here. Uh, that's okay. Then a single double looped black here. A single double looped. No, I... Oh, yeah. Okay. There, like that. So what I did is I changed it up a bit. So we've got the grey double bands here. And then we went single double looped grey, single double looped black. And then did a black down doing a really long stretch there so that's like two by one um <coughs> and then a single double looped grey cap it off one two three okay now I'm gonna put horizontal bands Okay, now we can loom it. Oh, I think I got one too many here. Okay then, whoops. Sauce about that. I just made a small mistake. Okay, then now we can just loom straight up. Okay, then you can pull this off. Don't be too rough with it, like I am, because you may break it. Um, let me just try and figure out something. Okay, then. Um, now we're going to make, oops, here's a band. Okay then, now we're going to do the next type of feather, the second biggest one. Okay then, so we're going to get two greys and a white. Going down, two greys and a white. Down um, a white and a white. Sure. Um, what? I'm going to change that one to be a grey. I'm going to go down here, white. Here, okay. Um, then you're gonna alternate it. So white. Sorry, I'm sounding a bit bored at the moment. I'm not. I'm just tired. <laughs> you probably heard that about a thousand times. So oops. Something just got stuck in my loom. Um, and then oh, what have I done?
Um, just a moment, guys. Okay, wait, I'm just thinking. Okay, I've done something wrong. Um, so, and then wipe. This one is actually supposed to be really long, like that. So that's like the two by one stretch. Um, now we can double loop. Great. Okay, then wait. So I want to. Yeah. Now just getting grades from here. One. Double looped gray. Okay, sorry, I was thinking. Sauce guys, I need to stop doing that. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, but I know what I need to do now. So get a grey and a white. And then a grey and a black. And then... Double looped black. Oops. Okay, double looped black. Double looped black. Um, double looped black. Then you're going to get this one you did before and stretch it. So that's another two by one stretch with that double looped black. Then I'm going to get another black. Double loop it. And then wrap it around. One, two, three. And I'm going to get a grey single double loop doing horizontal bands. So you should have just done all the horizontal bands on that. This is what it should look like. Okay then. Going up. Gonna loom it. Okay then, and we're going to pull this off. Okay, and then you can put that here. Okay, and then we've got one more feather to do. Oh, these feathers take a while actually. Whew. Now I'm going to make the last one. Okay then. <sighs> so now, whew, sorry, I'm just stretching. You guys catch up. Ugh, okay. 
So, I'm gonna get Okay, two greys and a white. Going down. Two greys and a white. Going down. Um in a white. Going down there. And then a white with a really big stretch. Like that. So that's another two by one. Um, then get a grey. Going down here. Then a white. Whoops. Going down here. A grey. Going off that long one. Two greys. I mean a double looped grey. And a double loop grey. And then a white. And a grey. Yep, okay. Then a grey and a white. on that side with the white and then a grey and a black going here and then a oh not a grey white that's the a grey and a black going here I had a grey and a white for some reason and then a black Here and another black here and then a black making that stretch okay and then black there and a single double looped black so they're single double looped and then capping it off okay then. and then you're gonna loom it uh wait let's add horizontal bands all gray single double looped single double looped Single double looped. Single double looped. Oh. Another single double looped. Okay. Now I'm gonna go here. Go here. So just looming it up now. Okay, now we can pull that off. Okay then. <sighs> yeah, so you should have your last feather. Oh, those took a while. I didn't think they'd take that long. Um, <laughs> anyway, so. Now, we're going to do the okay then Ugh. 
So now we're going to arrange the loam ready for, let's zoom out, arrange the loam ready for doing the wing. So you want this peg here to be down and the next one up. And we're just going to shift the others to follow suit. And then get another row and put it up like so. Okay then. Um, so now I'm just gonna let's do it. Okay, so this is only the first half of the wing, so it's not it's only gradiented from the middle to grey. It's not white to grey. Just keep that in mind. Um, so let's see. I'm gonna do most of it. It's all double bands, by the way. No double loop bands, unlike the feathers, which were mainly double looped. Let's see how I did it here. Um, okay then. Sweet. So, whoops, grey and white. Grey and white. Grey and white. Grey and white. Gray and white. Gray and white. Maybe I can zoom in it a bit more just so you guys can see. Okay, next one. Um, let's do a gray and white, staying on this side. And then let's do two grays. Let's do a gray and white. A gray and white. Two greys and a grey and white. Okay. Um, and then we're going to go down. Oh, let's see. What colour now? Um, let's do grey and white on that second row, second pair row. Leave this one. Don't do anything on this one. Just pretend it's not there. Um, gray and white. Uh, gray and white. And then do a double gray. Here. Okay then. So now, oh, I missed one. That's going to be gray and white too. <laughs> This one here, second and grey and white. Um, now we're going to go grey and white here, um, double grey from here to here. That's a big stretch, big stretch. So from the third peg to the fifth peg, um, and the next one's going to be. Gray, um, let's do a double gray again, um, gray and white, and a gray and white. Okay, now we're going to get gray and white, gray. Yep. Gray and white. Why don't I just do G and W? Let's do that. G and W. Okay then. That means gray and white. G and W. Um, double gray. G and W. Well, that's much easier for me to say. Oof. Okay. Cool. Hope you guys understand that. Um, then we're going to get double G, double gray. Um, G and W, G and W, oh wait, this one, here, 
this one that's on the second row in, you're going to get it up and you're going to attach it there, like that. So it's going to be another long stretch. So it's gone long stretch, one, long stretch again. Okay, um, G and W, and double G. Okay then. So now let's do Wait, I did have this right. That's supposed to go like that. Don't worry. I I did it wrong. Um <laughs> just ignore me. I was wrong. So this the second row, it's not supposed to have a long stretch, just leave that going straight down. Before I told you to change it to that. But now I've decided to change it back. <laughs> I'm helpful, aren't I? Um, <laughs> so now... Let's start using a bit more grey. Um, let's do... Double grey. Double G. G and W. This is a long stretch. That's a long stretch again. So a normal stretch is like that. Long stretch. Like that. If you watch my videos, you'll know like easy what long stretch is. But it's when it goes not just across one, but down. So it's like, yeah. But I'm not going to even bother trying to explaining it because I'll just sound gibberish. Um, <laughs> next one. Double G. The next one, double G. The next one, G and W. Okay. If you still don't get the formula, G is grey, W is white. Double G is two grey, G and W is a grey and a white. I hope you got that. Um, now, we're going to have... Okay. Oh. I think that this one went. One, two, three, four, five. Whoops, I've been doing something wrong here. Okay. Take off the second row here, take off that set of bands. And on this outside row, take off that set of bands. And then get this set of bands in your finger and change it to be a long stretch. Like that. So you should have five. One, two, three three, four, five, and then a long stretch. Hope you can see that way. Zoom in. Okay, so that's a long stretch there. After five. Yeah, okay then. Long stretch. I got that wrong. And then go down with double G. Okay, now. Um, let's get a gray and white in there. And then a double grey here. Then we're going to go down again, double grey. And then you're going to get another double grey. Like that. And then you're going to go down, double grey. And again, and and then one more time you're going to make another long stretch okay then and then you're going to get your longest feather and you're going to attach that longest feather okay attaching that longest feather onto the end Okay then. <sighs> okay, so that's been attached there. Um, oh wait, no. I'm just going to attach it around the other way. Okay then. Okay then. 
um, so you attach that onto that bit where you stopped. Now let's do horizontal bands. I'm going to do grey down near the bottom, so a single double looped grey. Let's zoom out. Um, single double looped grey, and then two greys, two greys here, and a single double looped grey in here. Oh wait, just gonna do that but differently. Grey, single double looped. Okay. Then. Um, now we're going to get grey and white, so um, upside down triangles like that. Um, this one in here is going to be a single double loop grey. Okay, now the rest of them will be double banded grey and white. Grey and white. Grey and white, 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 and then just use grey to do this last one here, and Okay then, and then just to help with the horizontal bands, do a grey and white up there, a grey and white up in here. Okay then, that's just to make sure when you look on this side, it, it's all got like, when you look down here there's all the bits here, it's so there's no gap one. Um, that's why I do that. It just looks nicer. if. It is a little bit extra work, but so if you can't be bothered doing it, don't do it. But otherwise, meh. I'm still trying to figure out why my nails look pink instead of orange. Um, okay, now we get to attach all the feathers. Yay! Um, so let's attach them. Okay then, um, I'm just thinking, don't mind me. Just let me think, I'm just trying to figure out where I'm attaching what. Okay then, so you're going to get one of your white ones, little white ones, and you're going to attach one here, and then you're going to get another one, and you're going to attach it here. Oh, um, Yes, I believe so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got that right. Okay then. Um. Yep. So that is. Um, I'm gonna put one here too. One here too. Okay, so we've got small feathers on these first three pegs. Okay. Um, now I'm going to do the medium feathers, which are two rows down along here. Okay, sweet. Um, so these ones, these medium feathers, they're going to go along the, the third row from this side, this side, third row, 
So this row where the um, horizontal bands at the top intersect. Okay then. So you're just going to attach them all on. Try and attach them sideways so they look like that. So take them from your holding hook on the bottom of the loom wherever you put them. Okay then, this is why we need a lot. <laughs> Another one here. And then we're going to get that's type feather, feather type 2, which you made 17 of, I think. Um, okay, so you should, and then on this last peg here, where these two intersect, we're going to get feather type 3 just to twist things up, just because that last feather is usually a little bit longer. So that's going to go there. I don't know why I decided to do that, but I just wanted to. Okay. Uh, now, we're going to get hmm, along the bottom here. So. We've got our biggest feather, and then we get our next biggest feather. Next biggest feather, um, and it is going to go oh, let's get rid of those. Okay, then. it's going to go right here. Like that. So we've got one there, one on the end. So on the end one, the next peg up, then we're going to put the third biggest feather on the next peg up. I'm just attaching it on this way because I'm right handed, but you want to flip it around so that it's poking out the side, like that. Then you're going to get the next biggest feather, or smallest, next smallest feather, <laughs> rephrase. So it's going from biggest to smallest. And then the next one. Okay then. Which is at that joining point. Okay, let's focus it in for you guys. Just ah, uh, yep, so you can see there. They're attached like that. Okay then. Let's focus it out a bit. And then you're gonna get um feather type three, four, the long feathers, the ones with the black capping at the end, those ones, and you're going to attach them along here, just along this edge, attached six of those and then you should have attached those ones and the small ones so three small ones seven of type two and then one of type three down the end here we haven't put this is the only type three on this half of the wing and you've got biggest through to smallest feathers and then type fourth feathers which are the longer ish ones Okay, now I believe we're ready to learn. Okay then. Um, yeah, let's learn it. Yes. So I'm going to zoom it out now. Okay then. Um, you don't really, you just need to loom this 
all the way to the end. There's nothing that you need to do while looming it. So you can just go ahead and loom it. Um, so I'm just going to speed through. So also with the feathers on, it's going to be a bit harder while you're looming it, just saying, because they'll be in the way, like horizontal bands, so you need to go. Let's say I go into this feather here. Too much. Okay, then. So this feather here, I need to go down into it, pull back all those bands until I get to the bottom two, which are right down there, and then I need to get them like that and only those two that's what you're supposed to do so you gotta pull it back until you get it so I'll do it again for you here pull it back until you get these two and then you loom it I'll do it once more just because this is an important thing so pretty much how you can do it as you go in on this angle and on this angle pull it back okay then yeah so that's just how you do it and you just loom up turning out to be a rather long video nearly two hours it's only the head and the wing <laughs> uh, I'm debating whether I should finish the wing or not whether I can have the energy to Next one, going down past the feather. And there's the sorrow with the feathers on it. Okay then, done. Whew. I think I'm going to stop here because I'm rather tired. Okay then. I'm just tying it off. Um, okay then, now I'm going to pull it off the loom. Okay then, 
So just taking it off. I'm not very gentle, but um, try and do it gently. I'm not actually. <laughs> there we go. So what you want to do now is you want to get all the feathers and you want to push them all to one side of the wing. So pushing them through the horizontal bands, you'll get what I mean um, when you see it. So you've got all of these feathers coming along the middle here. See there's one that's sticking out this side. You just want to push it through the horizontal bands to um, stick it out the right side. Yeah, so say you have a bunch of feathers, say, yeah. zoom in, okay, you just got this random feather sticking out here, you just push it through, Boop. and then you have it out this side, so you need to choose one side and push all your feathers through to that one, okay, and this will be the top side of your wing, okay then, so this is only the first half of the wing, So we just need to do the second half, which I'm not going to do now. Also, what you'll want to do in here, yep, focus. So, you have this set of bands here, and you have this one here. You want to get that half of the set, 